All right, so in the last video, we went through the pre-CTS optimization or timing design and optimization of our layout. And now we're going to do CTS, which is clock tree synthesis. So to do so, we're going to also have a script driven design. Uh, I have a script written called CTS.tickle. Here is my script. Uh, you can see that we're setting a few parameters uh, that uh, deal with the uh, uh, buffering uh, of the cells, what our inverter cells are, uh, whether we can use inverters in our clock tree, uh, what the target transition time and skews are, uh, and a few other options. You can see those all listed here. Uh, and then uh, when it's done, it's going to write out the design uh, to uh, the database. All right, so we're going to run this script. Like everything else, we write a or we, we source the script from our scripts directory. So here we go. That's going to run. And now what it's doing is it's inserting buffering and inverters uh, and designing the, uh, the clock tree so that it provides the clock to uh, all of the different cells uh, like flip-flops that need the clock. Uh, within allotted timing constraints that we had set in our uh, timing uh, constraint file uh, and in our uh, timing design or our CTS design uh, tickle script. All right, so that's going to take a few moments to run. Uh, and when it's done, we'll come back. All right, so you can see now that the clock tree synthesis is done. And you can also see that it's changed some things in the routing, added some metals, moved some things around uh, as it's added the clock tree in. Uh, and now it is time to do the post CTS optimization. Here is another script that we're going to run uh, in order to do that. Uh, just a few, uh, a few simple commands uh, that we're going to run. And I'm going to start that off by again, launching a script. I've called this one post CTS. And we're gonna run that, and that will go for a few moments. All right, now you can see that that step is completed. Uh, we're going to move along to our routing phase. So the routing script is a bit more involved. Uh, we're going to uh, do some things like uh, check the layout for errors. Uh, we're going to add filler cells uh, into the layout. Uh, and uh, in our case, we're going to restrict the layout uh, routing layers to between layers one and six. Uh, so these are some of the things that will go uh, in here. Uh, and then we're going to do uh, a full route of the design. Uh, and we'll do this prior to the post route optimization that, that we're going to run. So I'm going to bring this back up and we're going to run our routing script, which I've just called route.tickle. And it's running and we'll come back in just a few moments. Now, one of the things that we expect to see uh, right now, you can see that the, after the clock tree synthesis and optimization, the routing had gone up to a few layers uh, beyond metal six uh, that uh, I have uh, restricted. Uh, so after the routing, hopefully what we'll see is that the routing will be back below uh, layer 6.